I sometimes have a question about welfare and about helping people. And th there are several questions I have about it. And one of them, and you, you might have already heard this from other people, but that there's this thing with giving something to someone that they don't work for that can make that person weaker. And so the the professors, the, the scientists, the social scientists have done studies and, and, and they've kind of figured out that sometimes you think you're helping a person by giving them something when in fact you're hurting them. Uh, and one example, just a, a quick one that I heard was the shoes that were being put into the big shipping containers, old used shoes from rich Americans. And then those shoes would be shipped over to places in Africa where people were poor and they would just be distributed for free to people. And everybody thought that was a really good thing. But then when people really looked into it, the scientists, they realized that this huge influx of shoes in the area made it so that the people who were trying to be shoemakers there, they couldn't afford to. They can't compete with free. They can't bring, make their prices that low. Everybody would rather have the free shoes. And so in the long run, the shoemakers all went out of business. And so if that spigot of free shipping containers of shoes is ever turned off, then that area doesn't have a good way to get shoes in the future. So even though the people thought they were helping, a friend of mine is, would do that. He would, he, he had a warehouse. He would just, he'd go out and get every shoe he could get, crutches, wheelchairs, and, and send them over. And I, I was all about it. I thought it was wonderful. Well, it turns out that's not always the best thing for people. And so when I look at, at welfare or helping folks out, I don't even know that it's good for me to think that I know so much about the future that, that I should give this to them and make their life better. I don't know if it's going to make it better or not. But even if it would, that's not what I wanted to toss out there today. What I wanted to toss out was this notion of whether charity should be private or public. Should the government provide food stamps and, and give food to children and uh, pay rent for people who uh, aren't bringing in income in another way? Should, should they do all of these things or, or should it all be done by a private organization or, or private individuals? How should we as people and, and as a bunch of people living in an area together, if you wanted to call it by the abstraction of community or region or whatever, how should we go about doing this? And I, at first, I'm tempted to think, you know, it would kind of make sense if you could get a huge organization like the federal government or state government, if they could collect a bunch of money and then spend that money getting help to, to where it needs to go, maybe that could be a good thing. But then I realized I'm wrong because how do governments get that money? How would they get the money to go out and send a check to somebody to buy cheese. It's not that I don't want a kid to have cheese, but how does the government get that money? Well, they have to take it from other people and they're not taking it through donations. That's what a private organization would do. The private organization would say, hey, um, everybody, I would love it if you donate a few bucks and we're trying to get it together because we want to buy cheese for hungry children. And, and that's voluntary. We're not initiating violence. We're not being nasty, vile, toxic humans if we're being voluntary about it. If we're just saying, hey, neighbor, um, will you give me a, a few bucks? I want to give it to a hungry person. Well, nothing bad is taking place there. But it, it occurs to me that something bad is taking place if a group of people initiate force. They basically say, everybody has to give us this money. And if you don't, we're going to send you some nasty letters. And then if you ignore those, we're going to come and lock you up and sell all of your property and you know, take it away from you. That's, that's nasty. But that's the only way that the government gets its money because you know that they don't get a lot of donations because if if it if I'm gonna donate and I'm imagine the same is true to you if you were gonna donate some money you know that private organizations would be much more efficient in the way that they spend the money you know they wouldn't have a huge overhead and they would be very careful in how they spend it so if it was up to us if it was a voluntary thing we would give to private organizations 
So when I look at how the government gets all of its money, I, I have to wonder, no matter how badly I want some poor starving child to have some cheese to eat, I really want that. And I, I'm hoping if you're a good person, I'm, I'm hoping you want nobody to starve. It, it's not cool to think about people starving. But does that mean it's okay for us to start being violent? Well, obviously not. If we're a moral person, it, it's it's not okay to go steal from your neighbor. You don't go over to your neighbor's house with a, a knife and say, I'm going to slit your throat if you don't give me $5 so I can buy some cheese for folks. Well, no, that would be, obviously, that would be as bad as doing it through taxation. It would be just as bad. It's awful. So that isn't how we should fund it. That, that's been my conclusion, is that isn't how we should fund it. If we're going to fund a charity, if we want to help others, we have to do it right. We can't violate our morals. We can't stop being good people and start stealing in order to do this. We have to become better maybe at persuading our don neighbors to donate. If, if we don't think that they would do it, if we just ask, then maybe we need to I don't know, make some commercials with sexy ladies and cute puppies or whatever sells in advertising. Maybe that's what we need to do to appeal to them so that they will donate money that we can then go and, and buy cheese with to give to people if, if that's the charity that you're interested in. Is there another way that government could get money? I mean, obviously they, they can't morally get it through taxation. That's sick and wrong. And it's still a leftover from the old days, the barbarian days. But is there a way that a government could get money other than taxation? Is there a way that the government that rules you, is there a way that they get money that isn't wrong and evil and horrible, nasty, toxic, all that stuff? I, I've thought about this a lot and I, I can't think of any way that, that they do it that isn't bad. So I don't know. That's just something to think about. And let me know if I'm wrong here, if you think it's okay to steal from people in order to, I, you, you don't, you know better. <laughs> I, we're all human beings. We know better than that. But if you, if you have any thoughts on this, I would love to hear them uh, if I'm off base in some way. Uh, and until next time, keep on being the best you because you're probably pretty darn good. <laughs>